We're back for the Bruins. Haven't done one in a while. I know you guys have been long overdue for one, even though the Celtics have been playing well. But so have the Bruins. I got into a little predicament, which one to do, and decided to do Bruins for once. Both teams have been doing great so far. What is going on, you guys? This is Jesse Almeida live on YouTube and on B-Town Takes. And tonight, we have an original six matchup here at TD Garden. It's the Maple Leafs against the Bruins. If the Bruins win, the Bruins are in fourth place in the Eastern Conference. They will be the same standings at the same spot as the Celtics if they win tonight. It's going to be a big game tonight. Trade deadline just passed. We picked up one of the better defenders in the league in Hampus Lindholm. And in goal today, number one, Jerry Swayman. Yeah, Swayman.
go. Looks good. Got him for too many men on the ice there.
save. It's a good save there. Break out. Go! So that's weak. Look as fast.
six two, I should say. All right, guys, that's gonna do it for the video. Um, I didn't really record much afterwards because, again, the Bruins have not, in my eyes, haven't been playing the way they should be recently. So I didn't really record much after that, and there's a little bit of a reason why I didn't record also after that last clip and um, I'm gonna go through that right now because you guys definitely do have a right to know uh, what's going on when I first came back to YouTube I met, went on live and I explained why I went away for a little bit and one of the reasons why I went away for a little bit was because I was diagnosed with Crohn's disease and I was diagnosed with ulcerative colitis back then so when I found out what my issue was, I figured that I was on the men's. I was perfectly, I was getting better and I was going to be on the right track. And there was one thing, there was one thing that made me nervous about coming back was what if there is a bump in the road? What if I'm not going according to plan in terms of my healing. If you guys don't know what Crohn's disease and ulcerative colitis is, it's a very, very horrible disease in the digestive tract, pretty much. It, it fucks you all up. It's really the only way I can put it. I know I shouldn't be swearing to you guys because a lot of you guys are kids maybe viewing this, but like, it really messes you up. You can't eat certain things. So if you do, your stomach just completely bothers you the whole entire day. And you, it makes you lose weight. It makes you lose appetite. It does a lot to you. It makes you exhausted. Um, it makes it, 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 it's just a bad disease in general. And mine was very bad. Mine was very bad. It, it was very bad to the point where it could have turned into colon cancer at some point. I had a follow-up colonoscopy the other day, last Wednesday, because I have to keep in track with this thing to see if it's healing or whatever. There is some good news that came from that. The first good news that came out of that was that my ulcerative colitis was almost fully healed. So my ulcerative colitis is pretty much gone for the most part. That was very, very good that was eye-opening for me i was like oh thank god this is this is in the right direction we're going we're good we're getting somewhere and then the other good news well it's good news but it is very bad news at the same time my crohn's disease requires surgery unfortunately um that has how do I put it? I shouldn't say it's gotten worse, but it's healing so fast to the point where I'm starting to get infected. And what it's doing right now is it's closing up my intestine. Let me just put it this way. If this continues this path, who knows if I would still be here or not. And if... It was if it goes keeps going the way it is, then I am gonna have to require I'm gonna be required to have emergency surgery and a little baggie to go to the bathroom with for a little while, and that would put me out of commission for a lot longer than if I was to just have a planned surgery. So I I'm just letting you guys know right now that I have to get this done. And it sucks because I had a lot planned for you guys. The Celtics are starting the playoffs. Um, the Red Sox are playing opening day, April 15th. I don't, it, I mean, it just sucks, man. It just sucks that I hit this bump in the road 
and just letting you guys know right now there will be no more game vlogs from here on out until i am in it in enough stable condition to be at a game there won't be any more game vlogs going forward i'll be all right i'll be okay but i'm not saying there won't be any more game vlogs ever again i'm not saying that what i'm saying for the time being while i am in recovery while i am recovering from this surgery there will not be any game vlogs and if i once i get the okay to be able to go out and pl and go watch games or whatever because right now my second job well i shouldn't say second job but like it technically is because i'm in college right now but my job that i work at right now at the liquor store i won't be able to go back there for a while because i have to carry boxes i have to when i'm dealing with the cooler i have to lift box lift boxes there put stuff away and i'm not going to be able to be there for a little bit so in, i'll be gone from there for a little bit but in terms of just sitting down at a game and just holding the phone to record it might i might be able to do that sooner than i would be to go back to work and i just want to say thank you guys thank you guys for all of the love and support recently in the past i would say month or so we've boosted so high on this channel it's actually crazy we are at about 250 subscribers we're 750 away from a thousand and once we hit a thousand subscribers we will be partnered with youtube and with that is where my life pretty much begins on youtube and i'm excited for it i think we're gonna hit it this year to be honest with you this is a road bump towards that goal unfortunately so if you guys really could hit that subscribe button right now leave a like on this video so youtube can recommend this video recommend this channel to other people so we can get that goal you guys know what to do uh, go check out my website link is in the, in the description down below and i've been putting the website venmo on youtube but if you guys want to donate to mine personally i'll put mine in there as well um anything is gonna help me right now this just sucks this just this this really does suck because i again i had a lot planned for you guys i had i had big things in the works and now I, this happens like I just can't catch a break at all. I, again, the love and support I've been getting has been insane. I'll do my best to maybe record while... Maybe I'll do my best to record, like, reaction videos. Like, simple videos like that where, like, I can record it right on the computer while I'm laying down. But you guys are going to have to accept the fact that my setup is pretty much a bed at the moment. So if you guys really don't care about what I look like in the videos and so on and so forth, I can continue reaction videos or maybe do like gaming videos or something like that. Um, let me know some ideas of like what you guys would want for videos when I'm in recovery and just that's it that's just it for the video Bruins lose six to four um they made it competitive at the end he scored two goals in the third but I already knew after the second period they were gonna lose again this is my like my fourth Bruins game this year and all four times is been blowouts like that after two periods so like i've seen i saw the movie coming already i knew it was going to be a blowout and when i do come back from game vlogs for game vlogs okay when i do come back 
straight up Red Sox, Celtics, period. Robert Williams is expected to be back maybe before the second round. But he'll be back for the playoffs. That's huge. I think the Celtics still have a chance to make a deep, deep run. As for the Bruins, I don't really see it. I think they're just a, I think they're just a team of fool's gold. To be completely honest with you, I came up with that last night as I'm watching it. They played well against uh, Tampa Bay. Yes, they crushed the Islanders the other day. Yes. So I figured, okay, maybe they're back to normal. Maybe they're back to normal. Maybe they they it looks like they're finally playing the way they normally do. Let's hit a game. That was a big L last night. That was a big L. Had a chance to take over the four seed. Had a chance to take over the four seed. And what did they fall? I think they fell back to seventh again. Like last night was the game where I was. I would make the decision whether or not they were all in or not, or how do I say, if they were legit or not. And I don't believe they're legit. I believe they could be a sleeper. But at the same time, I don't see them as a legitimate contender, if that makes any sense. So that's pretty much that. Again, thank you guys. Thank you guys for all the love and support. A lot of you, there's been a few of you guys that's been recognizing me at the games. I, I, I absolutely love that. I absolutely love that. Last Wednesday, I didn't record it because that's when I got the bad news about me having my very first surgery. I was at the Utah Jazz against the Celtics game. Here's the picture right here. And one of you guys actually came up to say hello. And it, it, this is why I do it, guys. This is why I do this kind of thing. Because I know a lot of you guys enjoy my content. A lot of you guys enjoy the fact that you are able to watch a game. Not live, but like experience like you were actually at the game. And you were with the fans or whatever. Because, again, guys, I personally find it different watching a game on TV and watching a game in person and for the people who can't go watch it in person like these big games whatever like that Brooklyn Nets game the KG uh, number number retired because like it's so expensive or whatever for those of people who can't go watch those type of games I get to go and bring it out to you guys and you guys get to experience it like you guys are there so I appreciate it all the love and support again go subscribe to the channel right now thank you guys for watching i don't know what video is coming next but i know this was the last game vlog until i fully recover or at least i get the okay to go out again and that's that's pretty much it thank you guys for watching it's been jesse and i'll see you whenever